Hello everyone, dear friends, today's review will be devoted to a not quite smart home but a gadget no less smart. We will talk about a new product from MASX, which is a manufacturer of inexpensive but at the same time quite high quality and functional devices. In today's review, I want to introduce you to a new product, namely the Moss 2 smartwatch. The main advantage is, of course, the large 1.43 inch display made using AMOLED technology. And thanks to the energy efficient RTL 8763EW processor, you can avoid charging for two to three weeks depending on the load. In addition, more than 70 sports programs, activity monitoring, and the ability to use the watch as a Bluetooth headset. Supplied in a fairly durable cardboard box. On the front is the name of the model and manufacturer. On the side faces are the main advantages of smartwatches. On the back, there are some characteristics and a QR code for downloading the GloryFit application. There is also no need to worry about delivery, the manufacturer has done a pretty good job of protecting the watch itself from the harmful effects of postal services. The equipment is standard for most smartwatches. Color instructions in 8 languages, made in the form of a small book. Nearby is the cable for charging the watch. The cable length is 60 centimeters. The charger has a standard USB on one side, and the connection to the watch is made using two small magnets and two spring-loaded contacts. Watch specifications, chipset, Realtek 8763E. Screen, large 1.43-inch Ultra HD AMOLED display with always-on modes. Screen resolution, 466 by 466 pixels, pixel density 391 ppi, brightness up to 1000. Sensors, wrist-based heart rate monitor, heart rate monitor, blood oxygen saturation monitor, proximity sensor, accelerometer, wireless connection, Bluetooth version 5.2, battery capacity, 420 milliamp hours lithium polymer battery, battery life, in battery saving mode up to 40 days, under typical conditions of use up to 25 days, in intensive use modes up to 10 days, for persistent voice calls up to 500 minutes. The watch itself can have three types of color layout, black and green, black and red or white, as in my case. I also can't call the watch light, its weight is 60 grams. The strap is made of fairly thick silicone, and like the bottom of the watch, it is more beige than white. If desired, the bracelet can be replaced, to do this, we snap it out of the watch case on the back. To increase the level of protection against loss, two additional strap latches were included in the design of the bracelet. The back cover is made of plastic and secured with four screws. This cover also houses an optical heart rate sensor, surrounded by five LEDs of varying wavelengths to more accurately determine SpO2, blood oxygen, levels, as well as measure heart rate and assess sleep quality. Judging by the weight and sound, the body is likely made of metal or a metal alloy. On the right side there are two control buttons and a selection knob. It spins with characteristic clicks. We'll talk about the purpose of the buttons a little further. On the left side of the watch there are holes for speakerphones. The watch is water resistant to 5 ATM, which allows it to be used at a depth of up to 30 meters. They are also resistant to drops and extreme temperatures of minus 40 to 55 degrees Celsius, as well as splashes, salt water and other atmospheric conditions such as snow and hail. The watch also has a fairly strong vibration motor for notifications. The 1.43-inch touch display using AMOLED technology has several advantages. One of them is low power consumption. The pixels and subpixels on the AMOLED matrix emit light autonomously, making the screen energy efficient, especially when displaying dark colors. Another advantage is the small thickness. Due to the absence of a layer for special backlighting of liquid crystals, AMOLED displays become noticeably thinner, which makes it possible to create compact smartphones while maintaining their reliability and efficiency in battery consumption. In addition, such displays have high contrast. The pixels on AMOLED screens do not light up when black is displayed, resulting in deep blacks and increased contrast. At the same time, when displaying mixed shades, the pixels can exhibit increased brightness, which improves the overall visual experience. When you turn it on for the first time, install the GloryFit application and select the language. We can register in the application, or we can skip it. Next, I highly recommend setting up applications to work offline. Instructions on how to do this immediately appear on the smartphone screen. Next, we select our gender, our height, our weight and year and month of birth. Now we select QR code scanning and scan the QR code from the screen of our watch. 
After a few seconds, the watch will be synced with your smartphone. Let's continue getting acquainted and setting up the watch using the application. Let's go to the home page. This is the main section of the statistics of your life rhythm. Here you see the current step statistics, distance traveled and how many calories we burn. At the top we see the current temperature and that our clocks are synchronized. Below we see your heart rate, sleep quality, and blood oxygen graph. Going to each point, we see a graph in the context of the day. At the top we can share the result in the form of a screenshot. Also select the desired day in the opened calendar. In the sleep section, the graph is broken down by day, week or month. In the blood oxygen section, we can also share the result or select the desired day. But in addition, statistics are kept on the maximum and minimum levels of oxygen in the blood, and the training time is also recorded. In sport mode we can start training. The default settings are outdoor running, cycling, swimming, and badminton. These are essentially the first four types of exercises on your smartwatch. By clicking on the plus we see a huge number of sports modes, there are actually more than 70 types. All of them are displayed on the watch display in the sports mode. In this menu we can change priorities, let's say instead of badminton we can set the walking mode. Click save and now the fourth item in the top menu is the walking mode. The same mode appeared as the fourth item in the watch menu. Unneeded modes can simply be turned off by turning them into an optional exercise. On the main screen we can set the training goal, this is distance, time or number of calories burned. In the settings you can turn off voice notifications and change the notification interval. You can turn off or turn on the sound of the distance traveled, time and heart rate during training. By clicking on the listen button, we will hear an example of how the voice notification will be sounded. Click on the GO button and the training mode starts. It also runs on the watch itself. Let's go to the watch settings, device tab. At the top we see the connected watch, its MAC address, battery status and firmware version. In the Bluetooth settings we can synchronize contacts, to do this, you need to select up to 70 contacts in the phone book that will be transferred to the watch's memory for making calls directly from the watch. If you want to use the watch as a headset, you need to go to the Bluetooth settings of your smartphone and pair it with MOS 2. Or turn off Bluetooth completely. In the clock setting menu, we can choose different kinds of clock styles. In the customization section, you can upload your image, choose the font color and use, for example, a photo of your loved one as a style for your watch. In the heart rate monitoring settings, you can disable automatic measurement, and also enable monitoring of the maximum or minimum heart rate. The watch will vibrate when this threshold is passed. You can also turn automatic blood oxygen testing on or off or indicate the period when to test and how often to do this test. A useful feature is notification of an incoming call. When you make a call, the watch will vibrate and display the name or phone number of the caller. You can turn on a notification delay so that your watch vibrates later than your smartphone. We can also enable notification of SMS messages. One of the most useful features is app notifications. But first, you need to allow the application to access notifications through your smartphone system settings. After this, a window opens where you can select which notifications will be displayed on the smartwatch display. In the other reminders window, we can select additional applications that can send notifications to the watch. A reminder about alcohol. This is not a completely accurate translation. Do not think that this is a watch for alcoholics. This is just a reminder to drink water. Water. If you activate the rest mode, then in a certain period of time the watch will inform you that you need to do a warm-up or move away from the monitor screen. You can also set the time for your lunch break, which the watch will inform you about. The function to turn on the watch display when you raise your hand is quite useful. It works quite accurately and allows you to immediately see the time or workout status when you turn your wrist. There is a quick response function when a call is reset by SMS message. By default, the function is not active. In the general settings, you can enable remote photography mode, and when you press the display, the smartphone will take a photo. We can activate the bracelet search function, to which the watch will vibrate and a melody will sound. You can also activate the reverse function, searching for a smartphone through the watch. And finally, you can change the watch interface language. There was no update at the time of this review. In the SOS call menu we can specify a contact for urgent communication and also erase all data or unlink the smart watch from the application and smartphone. In the user menu, 
by clicking on the avatar, you can change your data, specify a name and upload an avatar. There is the ability to change the units of measurement, set up a training plan, set new goals for daily steps. For girls, set a physical cycle. In the third-party access menu, you can pair with Google Fit, which can also be important and useful. As you can see, there are quite a lot of settings and statistics. Let's move on to the watch itself. The top home button is essentially an analog of the back button. This will allow you to return to the main screen of the watch and then turn off the display. The bottom sport button is a choice of all sport modes installed in the application. You can select a mode by rotating the central button. If you turn the central button on the main screen, the five selected watch styles will cycle through. The watch remembers the selected style and will remain active until you change it by turning the knob. If you swipe up from the bottom, a menu of messages and notifications that we have previously configured through the application opens. The information is displayed briefly, but if you click on it, almost the full text of the notification 100 characters, is displayed, including spaces. By clicking on the trash can button, you can clear notifications. Swiping from top to bottom opens like a curtain for quick watch settings. Here we see that the watch is paired with a smartphone, the battery charge status and the date. The headset mode with a smartphone is now now activated as indicated by a blue icon with a handset. Next, select one of three display modes of the clock menu. The default is the most optimal in my opinion. We can also activate the do not disturb mode by specifying the whole day or selecting a period. Below is a highlighted icon of the activated arm rotation mode. When you click on the sun, we go to the setting to change the brightness of the display. Now the brightness is set to half, but this is enough even in sunny weather. Below we can activate silent mode in the watch, search for a smartphone, or switch to energy saving mode. If you are involved in active sports, you can lock the display by clicking on the corresponding icon. You can now unlock by holding the home button for a long time. It is possible to quickly switch to the clock settings mode. Swiping your finger from right to left opens the widget menu. The first is such a rainbow of statistics of steps sold, distance and calories burned. Swipe down and more detailed statistics on steps by day opens, and a little further, weekly statistics. The next widget is the sleep quality widget. I don't like to sleep with my watch on, so I have it empty. The next widget is heart rate, it displays the current pulse in real time, and below is the weekly statistics. The next widget shows us the amount of oxygen in the blood by day. The next widget is the current weather. Data is taken from the application and your location. But we can change the order of the widget cards, turn everything off and turn it on in the order in which we want them to be displayed on the watch screen. There are also two more widgets available for display here, namely sports modes and a call widget, where we can choose who to call, view call history or make a call by simply dialing a number. Now that we've gone to the watch settings, let's take a closer look at what we can change directly from the smartwatch screen. The first setting is to set the clock screen savers. We can choose any of the five downloaded ones for installation by default. We can also activate the always on display function. Then, even after turning off the main display, the current time and date will be displayed in the most energy saving mode. But go to settings, you can choose whether an analog or digital clock will be displayed. In theme mode, one of three options for displaying additional features and settings of the clock. I recommend the first option. The next setting is choosing the clock language. A little further, set the date and time. Sport recognition, workout reminder, disabled by default. In the contrast settings we can change the brightness and how long the display will be on from 5 to 60 seconds. In the sound and vibration settings, you can choose one of three vibration strength settings or select silent mode. We select the do not disturb mode all day or specify the schedule for this mode. In the settings to download the application, there is a QR code for downloading the application to your smartphone. In the system settings, you can reboot or turn off the watch or do a full reset. By swiping from left to right, a menu of various watch options opens. You can navigate through the menu either by swiping your finger across the screen or by rotating the middle button. Some of these features are duplicated by widgets. The first is daytime activity, essentially the first widget. Next is the call widget. Pulse mode and blood oxygen mode, 
This is again a quick transition to widgets for measurements and statistics of pulse and blood oxygen. Immediately move on to choosing a training regimen and checking the quality of sleep. BMI mode displays your weight, age, and height status. It turned out perfect for me, of course, because I provided incorrect information when registering. Weather, weather widget. You can also control the music player. It's quite convenient when you're training, you don't need to take out your smartphone to switch tracks or change the volume. In the messages menu, we see messages similar to what we do by swiping from bottom to top. You can start the lung training mode. To do this, select the desired mode, indicate the duration and intensity, press start and do not forget to inhale and exhale according to the instructions of the watch. The alarm can be set directly from the watch without using a smartphone. You can also launch a voice assistant function that will perform an action on your smartphone. If you have specified an emergency contact, pressing the SOS button will call him. Convenient for older people. Another interesting feature of the watch is the toolbox. Here we can activate the stopwatch function. If desired, select and set a countdown timer, so that now your favorite dish does not burn. If it's dark, you can activate the display's white backlight function, which turns it into a small flashlight. Next, you can search for a paired smartphone, enable the smartphone camera control function, or launch a calculator. Since the watch does not have a GPS function, it is better to start the training mode from a smartphone and have it with you. We start the training mode, as we see the watch and smartphone are synchronized and begin recording parameters. The watch display shows your current heart rate, distance traveled and time since the start of the workout. The display turns off for better energy saving. You can also launch the desired mode from the watch. In training mode, two additional widgets are available, on the left you can pause or end your workout, and on the right you can control the smartphone's music player. Full information about the completed workout is in the smartphone's memory. Here we see brief training statistics. And going to any of them provides more detailed information about the distance traveled, the number of steps, calories burned and the total training time. The average pace, average, minimum and maximum values of your heart rate during training are also found here. By going to another menu we see a graph of heart rate in minutes. As a result, we can say that the watch turned out to be very successful. First of all, this is due to the excellent display with bright backlighting and rich colors. Secondly, their battery deserves attention, charging the device only twice a month is very convenient. The third advantage is the huge variety of sports modes, which allows everyone to find one that suits them. It is also worth noting the abundance of available skins and the ability to create your own design. In addition, there are many additional functions and settings that allow you to personalize the watch to suit your needs. Finally, it is necessary to mention the ability to receive calls and view notifications, which is useful not only during training, but also in everyday life, for example, while driving or during a workout when your hands are full. I hope this video was useful to you and was able to tell you about all the features of this smartwatch. Links to products can be found in the description under the video, and I also invite you to join our group on Telegram, where you will find not only news about smart home systems, but also current coupons and the opportunity to communicate, as well as answers to questions. Please don't forget to like if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other interesting videos about smart home systems and more. I wish you all a good day and see you again. Bye bye.